Welcome to another video. This is uh, for beginners who want to figure out how to use Mango HUD to set up configs, figure out keybinds, and basically benchmark their systems better so they have a more detailed analysis of how everything works in their system, where they can optimize, and I don't know, it just helps to see if your game's running properly or not, so you properly compare to Windows, to Linux, and share your results with others. This is Mango HUD. This will help you do that. It is a Vulkan and OpenGL overlay monitoring, 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 lets you monitor your FPS, temperature, CPU, and GPU loads and more. <laughs> Jesus. Some words I can't say, okay? We come from different cultures in the world. Try to understand that. Uh, I come from a place called Cape Breton, and in Cape Breton, we all speak funny. And I'm trying to get rid of it, but it's very hard. Now, this is what it's going to look like normally out of the box, but you can configure it to look pretty much any way that you need it to. There are a bunch of dependencies. It works on Arch, Debian, Fedora, Solus, OpenSUSE. I'm only going to be basically covering Arch, Debian, and Fedora, and Serpent OS. And we will be covering the configuration side and the key bindings, okay? And basically... It all covers the FPS logging and so on, and, and you'll see a lot of that stuff. There's also a lot of options in here uh, for when you want to configure. Everything is available for here, or when you make your configuration, it all has detailed information from start to finish. So just popping this in a config, which you will see later, will allow these things to show up, okay? Some of them may be a little more complex than others, but you'll get the point when it when you get there okay by the way if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe put a like on this video i do take my time to go over these videos in detail as much as possible for new users and old users who are trying to refresh themselves and if you really want to support me you can do so on youtube with members or by donating using ko-fi and let's jump into the rest of the video the next step is basic usage now I'm going to show you how to install this on multiple different distros. For Ubuntu, Debian, Mint, and probably most other things, because it's all Ubuntu, let's be honest, minus Debian. But then again, Ubuntu was made from Debian. You'll basically be doing sudo apt install mango HUD if it's in the repositories. It should be. They mostly share repositories with Ubuntu and Debian, so you should be able to get this just fine. So that is for Ubuntu Debian. Next is for Fedora. You just type it out like this and you're good to go. For Arch Linux, it's sudo pacman-s mango hud. All right. Next for Serpent OS, it's sudo moss it mango hud. Mango hud is currently being added to the recipe list. When it's merged, you'll be able to do this. I'm putting this in here for future reference. You can still install it for OpenSUSE and other applications. It should just be called Mango HUD. So if you know your package manager well enough, you just do the installation of a normal package plus the name. I hope you find this useful. Now, after you do that, you want to do Mango HUD dash dash version just to make sure that it's in there and that it's functioning properly. This is Heroic Game Launcher. When you install a game, you have this options panel. We go here from wine to other, there are tabs up top. I wish they were more defined and detailed so that people know they're there. You'll see enable Mango HUD. Now this allows you to have Mango HUD in the game, of course. And when you start up the game, it will run. But what about other applications? With Lutris, it's the same thing. Right-click the game that you've installed, go to System Options, and enable Mango HUD. So FPS Counter, Mango HUD, and it's safe. For Steam, it's a little different because you're going to have to enter something manually, and that's important. So if we open up Steam here, which actually is opening up a lot quicker since the latest update, and if we right-click a game and go to Properties, you enter mango it takes a second and then you enter command just like that 
And as you can see, that's all you have to do. Mango HUD and then command for it to work. Now I do have this available here. So Proton use NT sync mango HUD command and then provider portal. That allows me to use my normal portal account from, well, uh, Steam. So you don't have to, you know, start a new account on Steam. We're going to close this immediately because Steam is currently uh, being a poo head and I don't want to have to deal with it. So now you know how to make it work for Steam. You know how to make it work for Heroic Game Launcher and Lutris. Now, what I didn't tell you is anything that you install in here, if it's Epic Game Store, GOG, EA app, Ubi Connect, Blizzard, if you have it enabled for the game launcher, it will enable for any game you run within that game launcher, making things super easy and simplistic for you. So now we're going to be dealing with keybinds, and we're going to be doing this in Cyberpunk's main screen because it's a lot easier that way. Now to toggle the overlay, it is right shift F12. See? This appears. And to reload the configuration, it's left shift F4. As you can see, everything reloads. To reset the metrics, it's right shift F9. Okay. Very, very important. See, it's resetting. Now, to toggle the logging, it's left shift F2. See the recording? It's now recording everything. So it's recording uh, all of our metrics for benchmarks and stuff like that. Turn that off by pressing the same button. This will save it to a file in the Mango Huts config folder for later, later analysis of your performance. Now, to toggle visibility of certain things in your overlay, okay, it's right shift F5. I don't have anything set, so it's not going to do it, but I just want to let you know. Now, we can set up custom keybinds. So, shift F1 can hide our GPU and CPU if you have it set, which I don't. Or is it that one? I don't know. I don't have it set like that. I should have had it set like that. And uh, Shift F2, you can do whatever you want. You can toggle GPU with Shift F2 if you need to. Like, but again, that will automatically just do a lot of things. Let's see, logging finished. It's kind of interesting. So let's head out of here and let me go into a folder here with you. Where we go to home, you go to config, which is right there scroll down to mango hud if you don't have a folder called mango hud you have to make one it's capital m ango and hud is capital h as well so is the config file right there if you open this up with gedit as you can see you can add some interesting things here like that and i'm also going to add this as r as well so that will allow us to actually toggle things so this is where you would deal with your config. We'll go over this soon. Now we're going to be dealing with the configuration. And as I showed you in the previous clip, you're going to want to go to your dot config folder. Okay. Which is right here. If you don't see a dot config folder, if you are truly new to this, yours will look like this. Okay. By the way, the metrics go to the home folder. Correction. If you hit control H, you can see hidden folders and the dot config will be a hidden folder. And in here will be your mango HUD. Just like this. You will, you will see if you don't have one, create one, as I said before, but since you created one, there's a lot of things that you can put here and here to see, as you can see, uh, legacy layout false, which means it's the layout that I have now. Uh, let me just zoom in so I can show you this up close because I want you guys to be able to actually see. I know you guys like to see. So what I've done is I've not set any offsets. I've added GPU stats, GPU load change, VRAM, GPU core clock, GPU memory clock, GPU temperature, power, voltage, CPU stats, load change, or load core bars. This one's very helpful. You get to see what your bars are doing, your your cores, uh, what your what megahertz your CPU is at, what temperature, what your RAM's doing, your FPS, FPS color change, FPS magic, uh, metrics, average, 
you know, if you're using HDR, your GPU's name. And I added all of this, every bit of this. You can find more information about all of these on the GitHub, which is super important. But if you don't want to have to use the GitHub and you don't want to make a config, you can always use an application like Mango Juice, which takes a second to load up. Now, I did a video about Mango Juice before, and I want you guys to actually be able to see what's going on with that. Can we turn this off? Okay, good. So I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to open Selection. I am going to select the Juice of Mango. There. Now, you can see it better, okay? So in here, if you want something on, you click it on. Right now, that's off. Now it's on. You want to see what your fans are doing, your memory type, so GDR6, your memory temperatures, your junction, you name it. You put one of these on, and then you hit save. That automatically saves everything. You can do so much with this. Every single option is in here, and that's what matters. You can also set Mango HUD variables to specific keys. See that? There's also an Intel PowerFix. There's folder logs. Here's your performance stuff. You can set limits, Vulcan to be adaptive or on set, so on and so forth. There's just so many things that you can do. You are not limited in any way, all right? So you got your visuals if you want to set your game's name here. Uh, if you want to set your GPU name, so RTX 4070 and uh, R9 Ryzen 9900x like that you can do that you can change the colors okay and you can also use vk b salt if you need to so sharpness denoising and so on and so forth then again afterwards you have to hit save applications like this are super useful especially if you're a beginner and you don't want to have to do all this by hand but I want to show you, you can do it by hand and the things are pretty simple because every single thing is written out for you on the GitHub in one single page. And it gives you detailed information about what in each individual thing does. And that's what makes all of this important. Okay. And there's also benchmarking. I showed you how to do that. And uh, as you saw, the benchmarks went here. Now, I believe there is a site that you can that you can upload them to if you need to and get everything done. But that's the end of it. Mango HUD's a pretty simple application. It's very easy to use. It's very easy to set up as you already saw. If you found this video useful, subscribe, uh, like this video, share this video. I do have a members. You can join me here on YouTube if you want and support me that way. It helps. A lot, by the way. And uh, don't forget to stop by for another video in the future. And I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys next time.